All right. That's been just five minutes. Okay, and now I'm scooping from the bottom. My stove is very hot, so this is right, right under low. The lowest setting I can go on my stove. It looks good. All right, a little bit more. When I added the atolti powder, just requires more water. So if you're following exactly in the cookbook and you don't use the atolti powder, it's fine. If you add the atolti powder, you have to add a little more water. Just be cautious uh, adding too much water. I'd rather have rice that I have to cook a little bit longer than have fatsy or wet red rice. So we'll cover this again. Let it go another 5-10 minutes. time I let it go seven minutes. And stir. All right, so I've added enough water this far, and I'm just going to fold this. Again, don't stir. It's best to cook red rice in a wide, low pot. Okay, you don't want it deep and high because you've got to turn this properly. Okay, if you stir it, it's going to turn into a, quite a mess. It looks really good. It's not yet done. All right, you'll see that the rice as it cooks, it won't have this shade of white in the center. Okay, this could go another five, ten minutes. All right. So I'll give this a flip. I remember standing over my mom's pot of rice on our white stove. When I was living at home at Gore 506, 105 Apache Lane, the closest house to Simon Sanchez High School. Oh, there we go. A lot of rice. Anyways, I wasn't paying attention. But I could eat her rice by the spoonfuls. It was so good. But she didn't write her recipe down. So this is why it's very important for people to write their recipes down and share it so that folks like me, children, cousins, etc., can duplicate it. Let me give this a try. Mm. Hot. <laughs> mm. Yummy. But it does need to cook a little longer. All right. I'm going to let this go another five or ten minutes. And then we'll give the taste test again. It's almost done. All right. So it looks done. I'm just going to give it one fold or two. Okay. Give it a taste test. Mmm. Yum, yum, yummy. And this is going to go good with my chicken that's marinating. Mmm. And instead of barbecuing, I'm actually going to bake it. So it's the recipe from the cookbook that I'll bake instead of barbecue. It gives it a totally different texture, great flavor. It's going to go so well with the red rice and finadenny.